kinetic curve is something which we have been using the term. So this is Professor Cool, and she has uh, given those kind of curves and description. And we on and off use it for the contrast enhanced breast MRI. So in the morning, Shilpa Lad ma'am also told about the same. And even ORADS, we saw that dynamic evaluation with post contrast is important. So basically, you have to put in contrast dynamically. You have to evaluate multiphasic MR sequences. And the early uptake is important, followed by what happens to the contrast kinetics later on. So two parts we have to see. So there are three kinds of curves, type 1, type 2, type 3. Type 1 curve is slow increase and persistent enhancement. So this is very common with your benign lesions. So only less than 9% of lesions are malignant and they have this curve. So basically type 1 curve is towards benign entities. We are using this on and off for breast MRs, contrast enhanced breast MRI, but also again can be put up in other scenarios as well. Type 2 is plateau phase. So initial uptake is there followed by a plateau phase. So the uptake will be as compared to a normal area of the breast, the uptake will be little early, but later on it will be like a plateau. So that is again concerned for malignancy more than type 1 but less than type 3. So most of the time these are benign lesions only. And the last is type 3, the ones which we are concerned about, the washout pattern. So rapid uptake and rapid washout. So that is a feature of neoangiogenesis pattern, which is a pattern of malignant lesions. So 29 to 77% chances of malignancy. But again, if you see the percent is quite low, so it's not sensitive, not specific. This is just an add on. As in the morning also, we saw that morphology over enhancement pattern. So you have to see the morphology first and then correlate the enhancement kinetics. So we have to talk about two things. Slow, medium, fast initial uptake, that is the first two minutes are important, ideally 60 to 75 seconds. And later on what is happening to that, whether it is washing out or it is plateauing or it is persistently slowly enhancing. And this is the angle theta which we were talking about in the morning also. So this angle, higher, greater the angle, that means faster is the uptake. So rapid uptake is more towards the malignant side. So type 3 curve. So scan protocol wise, you have to inject the contrast fast. Most of the centers still have hand injection, which is fine because the amount of contrast in MR is not very much, which we are giving. But the acquisition has to start quick. And the first phase has to be within 60 seconds, which you have to acquire. And then multiple phases, ideally 8 to 10 phases should be acquired. And where do you place this uh, region of interest, ROIs? So when you are documenting, you have to place it at four places, which is the lesion where you want to show what kind of activity or uh, enhancement kinetics is there. Other area is a normal breast parenchyma to show the comparison. Third is air. That will be a control, means just like it's not a wrong uh, analysis. So it should be a flat curve when you are placing it in the air area. And the fourth place is the heart or aorta, just to show again a control. So proper uh, contrast injection has happened. That will be picked up with this ROI in the aorta or in the cardiac chambers. So basically three more important places and one in there as a control will give you ideal graphs and then you can comment upon the enhancement curves. So this was about the Cool's kinetics curve.